you guys doing today? As you guys know, my name is Art Latios. I'm 24 years old. Um, some of you guys might know me as the class clown. Some of you guys might know me as the studious person that I am. You know, a lot of people know that I study really hard here at school. I do my thing. Um, what I'm going to talk to you guys about is the sacrifices and struggles that got me here today. Because prior to how you guys know me now, I definitely was not the person that I am today. And I'm going to take you guys back on this journey. I'm going to give you a small snack of what my life, not the whole kitchen. <laughs> and I want you guys to know that my life up to now has been very, very kind of tough. And I'm going to take you on this ride with me. So I'm going to go back to high school. High school, I went to Bloomington High School, class of 05. Uh, freshman through sophomore years, by far was so hard. I wasn't into school, guys. I was into the party life. I was into having fun with the girls. I was into just living, going the wrong direction in my life and my path, and that I knew that wasn't for me. Obviously, that was wrong. In time, I knew I needed to make a transition in my life you know, to do better for myself. 2004, guys, I must say that well, I made the most hard, worst decision ever. And that was, um, I started smoking marijuana. Um, that ultimately left me to bad grades. I wasn't able to play sports anymore. Um, I got in trouble. I hurt my mom. I broke my father. I hurt my father. To see my mother cry because of the decisions that I was making. And to see my mother cry, guys, it, it hurts me. Just talking about it, it hurts me a lot. I think no one should ever see their mother cry. Probably the worst feeling ever that, for me, person that I experienced. Um, so I knew that I didn't want my parents to see a, a loser of, of a son, a failure, to make them seem like, what, what have my son grown up to? Like, why is he this way? Why, what, what have I done wrong? Has my parenting has my parenting came down to this? Like, this is what this is what my son is? A loser? Smoking, smoking, doing drugs? I did this for a year, guys. And like I said, it left me wrong direction. Got got to lots and lots of trouble. So I knew that I knew I had to make a transition. So after graduation, I did attend colleges uh, from 2005 to 2008. I attended almost every college. Uh, Valley College, I attended RCC, and I attended um, Kuiper College, Crafton. There also, I still continued to uh, joke off and fool around. It, it was, uh, I still didn't take it serious. So I still felt like I was failing my parents and failing myself. Um, that also, like I said, was another thing that I just, I, I, I ended up quitting school again. I went to work, I work at AutoZone right now. So if you guys need car parts, call me. <laughs> uh, I do that, but now, like I said, I know that's not the life for me. I don't wanna be in retail. I've been there for three years, so I decided this this year is 2012, I wanna make a difference in my life and make my parents happy, make myself happy. And I took a lot of sacrifices, guys, by I cut a lot of my friends out of my life, good friends, friends that I grew up with in, from elementary. That right there was like breaking up with a girlfriend, like I broke up with my friends. I don't talk to them anymore, it's not, I don't hate them, but God bless whatever they do, but you're not on the path that I'm going. So I, I had to fall back and make that change cut them out, certain family members, and basically right now I'm on my own. And I'm proud to say right now here, as you guys know that I am very studious, I have a 3.8 GPA right now. I never had that ever in my life. In high school, guys, never. My, I was barely enough to get C's, D's. That's the type of student I was. So to come here and say that I came from this upbringing of, of, of badness, of drugs, and just partying, you know, and here I am now. I mean, look at me now, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm making good grades. I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm gonna go to Loma Linda. I'm going for physical therapy assistant, and I'm gonna make something out of myself. And it's just sometimes funny when I see, you know, peers, you know, at ditching school, not uh, doing their thing, not going to class, not doing homework, because I do see a little bit of myself in some of my peers today. So, um, with that being said, guys, Take, take the opportunity of the youth. Don't wait till you're 24 years old to, to do something. You have the opportunity now. Make it happen. And I just want you guys to live through my examples. And uh, basically, you guys, that's right there is the story of my life. A small, a small snap. <laughs>